Hello, I'm Cody Rogers, and I'm going to be brewing um, the beer uh, Bam Nice IPA from Prairie Brew Supply. Uh, so let's get started. First, I usually splash some of my water in and then scrub around just to rinse off any dust that's in my uh, boiler. Good, I'm gonna go dump it out. Ready to go there. Set it down. I put it down here so I'll lift it on when I go to put the, the burner on. Let's do this part of this one. These aren't holding five gallons because I filled them up in the back. And I don't have any caps for them. That will be locked. This to be 70 degrees. One thing I can do while waiting is get everything ready for it. This is a big sleeping bag, as you can see. I put it on the ground and then cover the Cover the uh, boy like the, the pot in it. So we we'll maintain its temperature for an hour or so. I also use the blanket. Uh, we can also set up here itself. Let's just move over here. This. So this is all the stuff that comes with it. Lots of hops and some ale yeast. Set that here. And I'm just gonna wait until we're closer to temperature before I do anything with that. Let's Ah, I have this kind of 
shift and monitor. Let's get a lead in. So it's only at 28. And we can still have tons of fun. Mash temperature isn't on here. So I think we'll do about 68. Get it up to 70 degrees. I'll have to mention it to the, to the new supply guy. Okay. So I was talking when I was looking up the water chemistry, but um, the video stopped when I left. So I basically I went to a uh, brewer's friend. Um, and their water chemistry calculator and I looked up how much of each of these I should add and it said a uh, teaspoon of this and half a teaspoon of this. Now it's important to do a teaspoon because I once I did uh, I, I used a tablespoon and it messed up the beer which it's actually that imperial stuff that's over there. Um, yeah, it was unfortunate but I'm gonna see what happens. I, I've Decided that like when I mess up, I should at least see what it turns out to be. But for now, you're probably going to find that I'll buzz through most of this because you know it's mostly just a waiting game for it to come up to the proper temperature. Like sitting by a campfire. Fetch myself my book. And I'll just dive into it. Bring the phone over 
after I'm done and show you. Yeah, dump it. It's around my grain bag. All around that plastic. And then I pull the bottom of the plastic up. Like so now all the money is in that permeable bag. It's sort of like you can see that. I'm tightening the things. I might need to get a new one here soon. Now I'm just going to tie them because I need my, my rope, but it's not, um, it's not that good anymore. Just quickly show you. It's the bag. We'll be going into the thing soon. You can see I uh, tied it. Up. Usually you don't have to do that. If they're new, you should just pull the strings and tie the strings. But mine's went to uh, brood over probably somewhere around 25 beers. I back in the beer, and this is only my second um, bag. Yeah, it's. Didn't get quite a lot from them. It's 65.8. So that means the weight is almost done. Yeah. Now this teaspoon just came out of the uh, counter. If it um, if I wasn't gonna be boiling this water after, I would definitely be sanitizing this. Um, but since I'm, I'm going to add the salts now and then boil, um, it doesn't matter as much. So I add about 68 If that should be enough. I am going to turn off the burner. Oh, certainly. Not turn it on now. Do what I said, set it here. You can't see that very well. Trust me. Okay. This on. A teaspoon of sodium chloride. Full teaspoon of sodium sulfate. Put the 
holes there. I'm just gonna shake it up some. Okay, so I put it to the front camera, not the selfie camera, so I can see it because I'm actually looking at it now. So you can see, I'm just gonna cover it up with the big sleeping bag. Put this blanket over it as well. Okay. Thank you for uh, watching this first part of the video. Now it's going to sit there for about um, one hour. And I'm going to go do some errands during that hour. And then I'll come back and I'll do the boil. Okay. So I moved that over a bit, just because I wanted to check, show you that I checked the temperature here. So wait, it's up. So it's at about 60 degrees Celsius. It's been there for a while, so. Should be good. Move this bit all the way. Okay. There we go. On. That was a very bad lifting strategy, by the way. But, oops, paying too much attention. Now, I do clean, sanitize this grill every time. So, it should be good. Make sure that it's in the roughly in the middle. This just saves me from having to hold it for the entire time. But now we'll go there. I'm gonna go check on something while this is starting up. But I will be back. But this, what I'm doing now, I'm using the lid to try and squeeze more liquids out of the beer. Now what I'm using to wash it there, it does have some bubbles, so you may think it's soap and water, but that's a big no-no with brewing. You don't want to use soap if you can help it. Um, I instead was using um, Star Sand Sanitizer in water. Star Sand uses water, so it's a bit obvious, but... Okay, then put that there. This out the way. Okay. It looks like I'm pretty much boiling. Mm -hmm. So I got my big ass spoon. Not quite boiling yet, but Getting pretty close. 
I'm going to turn off the heat some. And I'd say that we're at a boil but not vigorous yet. Put in the first batch of hops. It is nougat hops. Some quick here because I have it on a thing that doesn't particularly like. Good luck serving. If I do another one, I might uh, instead get my sister's tribe on, but I never thought of it till now. There, if you watch, so he gets really angry when you put the hops in, you have to stir it. Stir it up. Mix them in there. The opposite way. There. Well, that should be good for now. Let's put the lid back on. And then before I... <laughs> Pause the video again because I want to use the timer. The timer didn't go off. I'm going to show you my other beers. This one here is going to be my Festa Ale. What you see on top there is um, cinnamon. And somewhere in the bottom is um, vanilla. And I also put maple syrup during the boils. Tastes, usually tastes pretty good. And this one is that botched uh, Imperial Stout I had said I did before. Let's uh, see if I can wiggle the thing off. Let's see. It's very dark. Yeah. I'm going to try and see how it turns out. 
not um, too um, hopeful about it, but we'll see how it turns out. Okay, I am going to uh, pause the video for now, and uh, I might show again, like add in another hops. There's one more hops to add, um, but that is the basics of it. And I need to use the timer, so you won't see me. Uh, I won't have a fast forward clip where I'm just sitting watching it boil. But anyways, I hope you uh, enjoyed it this so far. And I will definitely show you when it's done and add in the other things. Yeah, I just wanted to show this is where I put the beer to cool off. Um, I usually leave the lid off for about 15 ish minutes while it cools down to about 50, 40, 50 degrees. And then I put the lid back on and I go inside and have something to eat while it cools down like, even further. So, this is what my damn nice IPA looks like right now. Now I'm going to put in the hops, the dry hops. Just dump it right in. Hello. I'm just here in my office. At my parents' office. And I'm gonna show this is the damn nice IPA. It's finished now. So I wanted to pour it out, first one. There we go. Now oh, got pretty good carbonation. Maybe I'll pour some. That was a bad way to pour, by the way. This is so little left, I... Uh, yeah, I'm probably going to drink that a little bit. But, anyways, here, I'll show you it. You better look at it. Yeah. Um, now, this will be the end of this video. But for the next video, I'm doing a Imperial Stout, or trying to. Um, and I'm also going to show more of the cleaning and sanitizing of it, of the beer, um, but yeah, so thank you for watching, and if you have any um, ideas, I've been told my lighting and video prep is bad, but maybe fix that later, but any other ideas, that'd be great, thank you.